Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this is a reading for Virgo for February. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for February. We're going to do you and the other person. All right, you choose which side is yours. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo for February? I don't know what it is, but I'm smiling, Virgo. It looks like it's bright, okay? It's it's warm energy. Uh, Page of Swords reversed over here. Five of Cups reversed, which is good, okay? The Five of Cups is beginning to realize that there's another opportunity. It's being open to opportunities, the Five of Cups reversed. This is moving on. Letting bygones be bygones, uh, focusing on the future. Now, there's been some sort of conflict with the Page of Swords reversed. Um, there's been some sort of battle. You may have been dealing with an enemy, um, somebody that is hostile. But this is, um, well, we have a troublemaker. We have a troublemaker here. Um, interesting. You may not be really communicating with anybody. Maybe you're just uh, being open to whatever happens. And somebody is coming in. Okay, this is going over here. The Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who is stable, is practical. Um, this is a hard worker. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If the, now this is you're in this. If you are single, okay. This is this is somebody that is. Uh, interested in you. If you are in a coupled relationship, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with is a very hard worker. They're stable. They're very predictable. Um, they're domestic. They are loyal. Whoever you're dealing with, this person is loyal. Um, very responsible. You have a responsible individual here. This is letting bygones be bygones. Moving on from some sort of situation. Maybe you're just deciding you're not going to talk about it anymore. Something like that. There's been a conflict, but I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. I'm putting this over here. Somebody has been in an unhealthy situation. You may be unhealthy. You may be sad, or there has been a period of depression with the Sun card reversed. Ooh. The fool, look at where it landed. So obviously that is for you, okay? Or, or whoever is on that side that's starting fresh, starting from scratch, starting over. That is really leaving but the baggage behind, okay? So something has happened and it's, it's time to fly. It's freedom. So this is a card of freedom. It's a card of, you know, taking that next step, moving forward in blind faith. Um, there's a new phase that is about to begin for you, whoever is on this side. But you're going to need to have faith and not be and not let fear stand in your way. It looks as though we do have somebody that is taking a leap of faith. And I think that it is you. I feel like this is a new beginning. It's an opportunity for you to start fresh and leave the pain, leave the hurt behind. Okay, because this is hurt. No more focusing on the hurt. We're going to start fresh or you're or you are going to start fresh. Somebody has been in a depressive situation where there was no growth, where there's a lot of uh, sadness uh, with the sun reverse. There's just uh, a lack of clarity, perhaps, or there was inner child problems. Maybe somebody wasn't being honest with themselves. There could have been a period of disillus disillusionment here but I think I, I think it's like I'm gonna leave all that behind and I'm taking a leap of faith so we do have somebody that has a new beginning here and they're taking it they're really taking it. and this is exciting so there's an exciting um, new beginning here Virgo whoever is on this side whoever you're dealing with or whoever is interested or whoever is in the picture this person is very responsible they're a hard worker magician uh, you may this person um, take is going to take action they uh, may feel like they called you in they may feel like you are their soulmate whoever this person is this person um, 
is willing to do whatever it takes to prove something to you. So you're dealing with somebody that will do anything. They will do anything to prove their um, loyalty, okay, or to prove their stability or to prove themselves, okay. So you got somebody, there's somebody over here that is very uh, action oriented and, and just willing, okay. This person is, is willing to prove themselves to you. If you have not met this person yet, you may meet them out and about with your friends. You may meet them through your friends. You can meet them on social media. Uh, you could go out for drinks with this person. This person, it feels like this person may want to wine and dine you. Um, this is a masculine energy with the magician card in the Knight of Pentacles. This person is very much... Um, going to take the lead so this is this is a leader of some sort it is now this is having fun with this person uh socializing they really think that you are the one you are the answer to your their prayer so whoever you are dealing with thinks that you are the shit okay just saying i think that um they see you as their dream come true their wish is granted you know that's what they see you as and i think that um they're gonna pursue you and they're gonna pursue you in a steady way they're not gonna give up okay so somebody is going if you are single especially somebody is going to be pursuing you if you are married if you are coupled whoever you are dealing with really sees you as the one put it that way this person thinks that you are the one and they want to prove it to you and they will do anything to prove it to you that's what i see I feel like there's a lot of beauty here. Um, I feel like there's blessings. I think there's guaranteed success, okay? There's guaranteed success. I think that uh Oh my god, it just feels like this is somebody this is like this is what I asked for. This is what I've always wanted and I'm going to prove it. That's this person is going to prove it. Um February. You're starting fresh, moving forward with blind faith, leaving a sad situation behind you where there was conflict, where you were not valued or something like that. You're leaving it behind. You weren't, whoever you were dealing with in the past was very, uh, They were a negative Nelly by the looks of things. This person uh, held you down. They stole your energy. And I just feel like you're totally leaving it behind. You are. You're leaving it all behind. You're leaving the pain behind. You're leaving the depression behind. You're leaving the unhealthy situation behind. It's like you're not giving it your energy. And you're excited for this new opportunity. There is excitement here. Something is going to happen fast. Have no fear. Have no fear. Somebody is, is headed into your life, and I think that you are being called to move forward fearlessly. Don't let any sort of fear get in the way, okay? I feel like you are uh, needing to move forward. So if you are thinking about looking back at the past, looking back at this unhealthy past, I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Don't do it. You are headed in the right direction. This is an exciting opportunity to start the next phase of your life. Okay? And I think this might be a shock. Some of you might be shocked. You're shocked that things are happening so fast. Maybe maybe it's just like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're ready. It's all of a sudden, I'm going to do this. You've been focused on a hurtful situation. And in, maybe it was a third party situation. I don't know. And then it's like all of a sudden, I'm taking it. All of a sudden, I'm doing it. This is like... A sudden change of heart or a sudden I suddenly changed my mind yes I'm going I'm going for this I'm gonna do it so I think there's gonna be a sudden change of some sort after being maybe it was fearful or depressed or sad or unable to trust or whatever the case is is suddenly you're leaving that those fears behind suddenly you're leaving the 
the crap behind and you're going for it. So you are going to go for something. It's going to be a sudden, this is a sudden decision. Whoever you are dealing with is, is coming with something really stable. They're going to be steady in their approach. They are not going to give up. They're going to probably wine and dine you. They're going to want to celebrate with you. They're going to want to take you out. They, they're, they may take you out for drinks, whatever. They, they you guys may go to a party together, um, may get together with friends. This person is definitely going to do whatever it takes to uh, make you feel good, okay? They're going to make you feel really, really, really good. Um, they may see you as, you know, a blessing, okay? This is it going over here. We have the Queen of Swords reversed and the Chariot reversed. Now, this is somebody that is hard to love. And they know that. This person knows that you are hard to love. And, and, and I'm not saying that you are, but that's what they, they probably think that, okay? They probably fear, fe feel that you are fearful. This is fear. They, they feel or they know that you are probably afraid. You're probably afraid to lose control. I feel like they, they probably know that you've been hurt really, really, really badly, whoever this person is. Um, there's this person knows this person, this person over here knows that it's going to take a lot of hard work to uh, get you to open up to them. They definitely know that. Maybe they, maybe there's been some cheating in the past and maybe they, they, it's like this person is very wise. We have a very wise individual here that is going to prove to you that they are not going to treat you the way the last one did. That's what I see. I feel like this person is, is very, um, awakened as well. I do. I feel like this person is going to uh, see the fear, but they're gonna they're gonna put in a lot of effort uh, to get you to let go of that fear and open up. And I feel like it, they are they're not gonna give up. They are not going to give up. Um, we do have a bitter individual here who has been hurt very, very, very badly. Um, and the person that they are dealing with is is. It's like, I'm going to help you. Because this is help. This is help. It is. The star card is help arriving. Okay. I'm going to help you to heal. I'm going to help you to move on. I'm going to I'm gonna help you with my uh, generosity. I'm going to help you with my kindness. I'm going to prove to you that I will take care of you. That is what I see. Now this is the chariot reverse is, is very emotional, overly emotional or lack of emotion. It could go either way. Now this, this is also things coming to a halt, the chariot reversed. Something could come to a halt. Now, if somebody has been in a third party situation and they, you know, maybe that's coming to a halt. Okay. It's coming to a stop. And maybe, maybe that was ha what happened in the past. Knight of Wands reversed. Now the Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that is very competitive. Um rushing out of control and this is out of control as well so I'm, I'm wondering what the hell is going on here and this could be a blessing in disguise of some sort it's like this person is but this is moving slow but this is rushing and out of control reckless behavior somebody that doesn't want responsibility somebody that is forceful so we have a forceful individual here that's coming to a stop. So I don't know who this person is over here. You may have somebody over here and this may be for somebody this may be for somebody completely different. 
It's like we have something that is coming to a complete stop. This is an emotional outburst. This is a sudden departure. This is a bitter individual who is vindictive and malicious. Could be a third party situation. That whole situation is coming to a stop. I don't know where that's coming from. There's been, maybe there's been uh, three people against one. And there's some sort of uh, protection. I know this is sounding crazy. It is. Being protected from this malicious individual by another person. So it feels, it feels like we got somebody here who's going to protect you. I know this is crazy, but that's what I see. It feels like, I mean, and I know I say this, I've said that a lot, but this could be an accident and this could be an accident. The chariot reversed and the knight of wands reversed. This is somebody moving too fast and they cause an accident or they get into an accident and it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe it puts you in the right place at the right time. So if you are single, maybe that's where you meet this person through an accident. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I don't know. Um, I know that's a different story, but there, this is something, the reels coming to a, a, a screeching halt. Okay. This is reckless moving way too fast. And this one is too. Okay, so just, I don't know who that is for, so maybe somebody needs to slow down. But the Queen of Swords is a bitter, vindictive individual. It could be an ex. And maybe that's this person is, is knows that you're hurting over an ex, okay, male or female. Whatever this is, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to do whatever it takes to protect you from getting hurt again. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Um, I see having fun. I see celebrating. If you go out drinking, do not drink and drive. That's drinking, driving, you could get in an accident. I'm just telling you right now. And this, it might be, I don't know who's driving, but somebody could get, drinking and driving is what I just saw could get somebody in an accident and it could cause a lot of hurt. It could cause a lot of pain. Just saying. It could. Um, <laughs> I know that's a different message, but that's drinking and driving. Dead stop. Don't do it. Um, now, this is a card of heaven as well. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Some of you could, you know, you may have to make a choice because of the third party situation here. We have somebody that's practical. Then we have somebody that is reckless. You've got to choose. Okay. It's your choice. This person is loyal. This person is stable. This person is uh, hit and run. And you can take that however it resonates. Okay. Hit and run can work in many different ways okay that could be a vehicle hit and run or that could be a sexual hit and run it could be both and this is so you may have to make a choice here virgo you want somebody who's stable you want somebody who's solid you want somebody who's long term or you want somebody who's exciting and attractive you know but isn't solid isn't stable and somebody that is reckless and just moves way too fast and really doesn't care who they hurt because they got one thing in mind and you know whatever I think for some of you, you're going to have to choose between two people. One of them is very, very attractive. You know, it's going to be, you know, this is, could be the one that you're very attracted to because of their passion. They're very passionate, right? But I'm telling you what, it could get you hurt. So if I was you, I'd go with the practical one. Anyway, just saying. Um, over here, it feels like, and this is moving very fast as well. So make sure that you don't have your blinders on. Okay, so we got somebody, and this this could definitely cause an accident as well. This Knight of uh, Swords, this is somebody who is moving way too fast. So I, I don't know what is going on, but make sure that you are not, um, obviously somebody needs to hear this message. We got some, this person is, is not thinking, okay, they are about to fall. Okay, this person, this fool is about to fall, all right? Um, not, not, it's very, something good is, he, this person isn't really thinking, he's being foolish, okay? He's not paying attention or something like that. You know, he is definitely about to fall, okay? He's, uh, uh, 
being foolish, not really thinking, you know, he's inexperienced or he's not paying attention. He's acting on impulse. Okay. And something could happen. Okay. Make sure that you are paying attention, especially when you're in the car. I feel like we have somebody here that could uh, really get themselves hurt if they're not uh, opening their eyes. If you move too fast into something and you choose the wrong thing, you could absolutely get yourself in a negative situation that uh, hurts you. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but um, that is what I see, Virgo. I do see that you have an opportunity here to... Uh, get involved with somebody um but if i was you i would slow down and don't act on impulse um choose wisely okay because you're definitely i think you have a choice between two and you don't want to you don't want to leave everything behind thinking that you're going to get a knight in shining armor just uh for a one night stand or something short term or you know, just to get yourself in some, it could be a big accident, put it that way. You think about an accident, accidents can happen in many ways. Yeah, it would be an accident. And once, you know, there's consequences for moving too fast. Okay, there is. So anyway, uh, good luck. <laughs>